Hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. If you are looking to boost your website's traffic or dominate search engine rankings, then today's video is just for you. We are diving deep into keyword research, a crucial part of any successful SEO strategy. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to find the right keywords to help your content reach its full potential. So let's get started. To kick off things first, let's understand what keyword research is. Now, keyword research is all about discovering the exact phrases and terms your potential audience is typing into search engines. Now, by identifying these keywords, you can create content that directly addresses what people want to know, buy or learn about. This not only drives more visitors to your site, but also helps you connect with those who are most likely to engage with your content. In essence, keyword research is the backbone of a strong SEO strategy, guiding you in crafting content that resonates with your audience. Now that we know what keyword research is, let's dive into why it's so important. Picture this, you're hosting a party. Would you invite random people who might not even be interested? Or would you carefully choose guests who are excited to attend? So keyword research helps you do the latter by attracting the right guests to your website. When you know the exact keywords your audience is searching for, you can tailor your content to meet their needs. This increases your chances of not only driving more traffic, but also engaging visitors who are genuinely interested in what you have to offer. The better you understand your audience search behavior, the more effective your content will be. Remember, it's not just about quantity. Getting the right kind of traffic is key to conversions and overall success. Moving on, let's talk about the different types of keywords you'll encounter in your research. This is important because not all keywords are created equal and understanding the distinctions can greatly impact your strategy. So short tail keywords are broad and usually consist of one or two words like SEO or marketing. Now these keywords have high search volumes, which means lots of people are searching for them. However, they're also highly competitive, making it tough to rank for them unless you have a very authoritative website. Next comes long tail keywords. Now long tail keywords on the other hand are more specific phrases like how to do keyword research for SEO. Now while they have lower search volumes, they tend to be less competitive and more targeted attracting visitors who are further along in their buyer's journey. For instance, someone searches for best budget laptops for students is likely closer to make a purchase than someone just searching for laptops. Now, next type of keyword is LSI, which is Latin Semantic Indexing Keywords. Now, these are related terms that search engines consider relevant to your main keyword. Now, for example, if your main keyword is digital marketing, then LSI keywords could be online marketing, SEO strategies, or social media advertising. Now, even in this example, if you have given best leather shoes, the LSIs would be official and casual wear, best footwear brand, origin leather shoes, etc. So using LSI keywords helps you create more contextually relevant content with search engines favor. Now, by balancing these types of keywords, you can create content that appeals to both broad and niche audiences, giving your website a better chance to rank well across different searches. So, all right, now that we have covered the types of keywords, let's explore some of the tools that can help you find them. So, keyword research tools are like treasure maps. They guide you to the keywords that can drive the most traffic to your website. Number one is Google Keyword Planner. So Google Keyword Planner is a fantastic starting point, especially for beginners. It's free and provides a wealth of information, including search volumes and competition levels for various keywords. You can also discover new keyword ideas based on what people are already searching for. Next is Ahrefs. Ahrefs is a more advanced paid tool that offers in-depth analysis. It doesn't just give you keyword data. It also provides insights into how difficult it is to rank for a particular keyword as well as click-through rates, CTR, and related keyword ideas. So Ahrefs is particularly useful for competitor analysis, helping you see which keywords for your competitors are ranking for and identifying gaps in their content that you can exploit. Now next comes SEMrush. Now SEMrush is another powerful tool that goes beyond keyword research. It offers comprehensive data on keywords, including trends over time, and allows you to conduct competitive analysis track keyword performance, and more. SEMrush is a go-to for many SEO professionals because of its all-in-one capabilities. So these tools simplify the process of keyword research, 
allowing you to focus on creating content that will resonate with your audience and perform well in search engine results. So with so many tools at your disposal, the next step is figuring out how to actually find the best keywords for your content. So here's a step-by-step -step approach. Number one, start with a brainstorming session. So you can list down potential keywords related to your topic. Think about what your audience might search for and consider different variations of those phrases. So use the keyword research tools we just discussed to analyze these keywords. Pay close attention to search volume, competition, and user intent. The goal is to find keywords that have a good search volume but aren't too competitive. And next, consider user intent. This is crucial. Ask yourself, what is a searcher hoping to find? If someone is searching for best travel laptops in 2024, they are probably looking for product reviews or recommendations. Tailor your content to meet that specific intent and you'll have a much better chance of converting those visitors into customers. So by following these steps, you can pinpoint the keywords that will not only drive traffic, but also ensure that the traffic is relevant and likely to convert. Now, one of the most effective ways to find high quality keywords is by analyzing your competitors. This might sound like a spy mission, but it's completely above board and incredibly valuable. So tools like SEMrush allow you to see which keywords your competitors are ranking for. So this gives you insight into what's working for them. And more importantly, it highlights gaps in their strategy that you can exploit. For instance, if you notice that a competitor is ranking well for a keyword like affordable SEO tools, but their content is outdated or lacking in detail, you can create a more comprehensive and up-to-date piece to outrank them. So by leveraging competitor insights, you can stay ahead in the SEO game, ensuring that your content is always relevant and competitive. Now, finding the right keywords is only half the battle. The next challenge is using them effectively in your content. So here's how you can do that. Number one, place your primary keywords in strategic locations, such as title, meta description, headers, and throughout the content. This signals to search engines that your content is about helping you rank for that keyword. Number two, avoid keyword stuffing. This old school tactic doesn't work anymore and can actually hurt your rankings. Instead, focus on naturally integrating keywords and using variations. For example, if your primary keyword is digital marketing strategy, you could also use online marketing strategy or effective digital marketing tactics to make your content more readable and engaging. Now, the third one is using LSI keywords to add depth and context to your content. This not only improves readability, but also helps search engines understand the broader topic of your content, which can positively impact your rankings. Remember, the goal is to create content that's both optimized for search engines and enjoyable for your readers. Lastly, keyword research is not a set it and forget it process. It requires regular monitoring and adjustment. SEO is a constantly evolving field and what works today might not work tomorrow. So make it a habit to regularly check how your keywords are performing. Use tools like Google Analytics to track your rankings and see which keywords are driving the most traffic. If you notice that certain keywords are underperforming, consider tweaking your content or trying out new keywords. So by staying on top of your keyword strategy, you can ensure that your content continues to perform well and adapt to changes in search trends. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And also, if you're interested in a career in digital marketing, unlock your potential with a postgraduate program in digital marketing from Simply Learn a top tier course designed to transform you into a certified digital marketing expert. This comprehensive program offers a unique blend of live interactive learning and hands-on experience, enabling you to learn, create, and promote your own website. Master both basic and advanced digital marketing skills through the Stukin simulation, delve into over 10 case studies and complete more than 20 projects to solidify your knowledge. Enroll now and start your journey towards digital marketing mastery. You can find the course link in the description box and pinned comments. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to keyword research. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you are now ready to start finding the best keywords for your content. Remember, keyword research is all about understanding your audience and creating content that meets their needs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.